thank you very much for the introduction, Martin. Uh, please uh, tell me if it uh, looks correctly on the screen. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Then uh, thank you very much. And uh, I would like to uh, also welcome all of uh, all of the audience uh, who joined us uh, for this morning. And uh, what I was asked uh, today is to, oh, sorry, I just tried how to uh, scroll for the presentation. So uh, to tell you about my experiences, challenges as fun and you, uh, best for soil facilitator. You and, did, sorry, uh, sorry to yes. interrupt you. Did you, did you, um, did you do it, did, did you do it on purpose? Like, because we don't see your PowerPoint now. Did no, you do it on I, purpose? I'm sorry, something happened. Then you have to share again, please. Okay, sorry for that. No, no, no problem. We get time. Looks better now? Yes, perfect. Thank you. OK. Oh. Then I see, well, I have to, or I always have to uh, try which method I can um, get another page. And maybe I, I did something wrong. So anyway, um, today I would like to talk about my experiences and challenges uh, as a best for soil facilitator. And to mention that, of course, we had some fun, of course. And uh, let me start with the real message um, of this project to me. This is this was my finding, and was really a surprise for me. Um, but um, maybe it uh, shouldn't happen that way. That I realized that soil conservation and plant protection how much interact with each other. I'm coming from a soil conservation background, and to tell the truth, when I realized that. Uh, project name Best for Soil is uh, very much focused on, on, uh, on pest management. Actually, I joined uh, to this project in the middle time um, when I joined Umki and uh, all the colleagues said that Best for Soil, well, it's a good fit for me. And uh, just uh, when I jumped it to the end, realized that, well, it would be uh, some challenging topic. But uh, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, this idea is um, how soil and all the food chain uh, interact is uh, coming for the uh, strategy or saying from my former workplace, the uh, Soil Conservation and uh, Plant Protection Service, which is now integrated to the Fortune Safety Office, which uh, has an, an idea on um, getting uh, from soil to the dining table. This is the word by word Hungarian translation and um, has something similar like the uh, idea than the farm to four strategy in EU. But uh, as it is an authority, uh, so it was uh, much more concentrated on uh, controlling the whole food chain not much uh, how those uh, elements can help each other. And it was really something for me to realize during um, the Best for Soil project. So thank you very much um, for that. And uh, for myself to tell the message uh, for all our, um, coming from this project, from the uh, soil conservationist uh, point of view, that if you have a good soil with a good structure, enough organic matter in it, and the great biodiversity with lots of different organisms living there, then of course you have uh, less problems with pests. So my aim was as a facilitator to reach as many people as possible with uh, best for soil uh, information. So I mentioned uh, what I did. I ask for uh, help from, uh, and I try to invite the uh, best experts uh, I could to talk about uh, these issues. And uh, on the other hand, we have a kind of uh, strong, strong uh, communication group, and uh, we integrated uh, Best for Soil to UMKIS communication activities. We had uh, uh, 31 uh, promotion actions uh, reported. But I think we had um, something more. And um, one of them was um, uh, an article on uh, one of the major uh, Hungarian online and uh, paperback um, magazine um, that uh, was a whole article on um, Best for Soil 
on it. And uh, I know that another one is coming out uh, on the different one um, this March. So uh, in Umki, we are quite active in uh, online media and uh, we recently posted uh, news and information connecting to Best for Soil project on Umki's online media channel. And um, how many people we read this way? Well, we have uh, 1,100 Facebook followers, um, 900 people uh, looking at us on Twitter. We have uh, 1,100 YouTube uh, subscribers, and we regularly send uh, our newsletters uh, to 4,500 um, uh, addresses. So I think it's uh, quite a lot of people and, uh, and um, everyone knows, uh, uh, almost everyone knows to tell you to, to about uh, best for soil. Well, and another cha challenge uh, is this period for everyone, I think, and this was the same for myself, is to going online because we couldn't meet in person. So you can imagine that uh, we had to organize our field days uh, in Umki in 2020 June um, online, field day online, you can imagine. But this uh, thing was uh, interesting for me because uh, this was the first occasion when I could present Best for Soil online. And we get um, used to it, I uh, uh, to tell so. So we organized an online workshop series in 2021 on techniques for uh, preserving soil health uh, on the basis of uh, best for soil information. And we decided to dedicate a workshop uh, for each of the issues or technique uh, covered by best for soil. And um, to, um, I think this um, workshop was quite popular if you see the number of attendees, the record number on this uh, um, workshop series of 250 per, um, person in one workshop, I mean. And uh, to see the topics, we started with the cover crops on arable land, basically. Um, we discussed about uh, advantages, disadvantages, and some experiences. So we had a farmer speaking and uh, um, some seed companies who are um, working and had some exper experiments also on um, uh, cover crop seed mixtures. Then we turned to crop, ro crop rotation planning. Um, that time we had uh, less help uh, with the databases, but uh, we could tell few, um, many things about that and uh, we involved some Hungarian experts uh, on that as well. And we talked about um, you know, compost use in agriculture. This uh, workshop was focused more on the composts um, um, produced by big composting plants. And uh, on, the, on, on the first, uh, on the fourth of the series, we uh, talking about uh, cover crops in vineyards, which is a very important topic in Hungary, as uh, uh, soil erosion in vineyards is quite a uh, severe issue. And uh, this time, um, we invited um, um, farmers uh, from vineyards who use uh, um, cover crops and uh, um, fighting successfully with erosion problems. And uh, this time they were talking about uh, MK's invention, a uh, cover crop mixture that especially um, was designed for, um, uh, for vineyards. So this was the first part and um, we get to the uh, second part when uh, we had a very special guest. We had Alfred Grant, um, that we could host, unfortunately, only online. And uh, he was talking about uh, and the cover crops, crop rotation, and all his uh, experiences uh, on Grand Farm. And I think it uh, was quite a popular um, workshop as well. Then we were talking about uh, composting and compost use, uh, especially in organic farming. And um, then a topic came, which I think it was less um, um, get less attention in Hungary, is the nematodes and the um, their um, role in in agriculture and in uh, in the ecosystem as well. So we were looking them as pests, and um, we also uh, talking about um, other um, function 
but uh, nematodes does uh, in soil. And uh, last but not least, um, one of my favorite topic was uh, antagonism and symbiosis in soil. So um, we were talking about how uh, we can uh, take an advantage of this of this phenomena in uh, soils and in and what is the role in soil health. And uh, I would like to uh, draw your attention that anyone who would like to understand this issue, just go and see the cartoon um, about this uh, on uh, among uh, best for soil videos because I think it's very cute. And uh, it explains uh, in a simple way uh, this issue for everyone. So I just uh, recommend you to look at. Well, uh, composting was a kind of lucky topic uh, because uh, we could not only cover it on online workshops, but uh, we could organize a um, workshop in real life to meet really people and, um, and discuss this topic. One of them was in August 2020 when we focused uh, uh, more on composting. And uh, a year later, we had also a special guest. Um, we have um, Vitalia Vig, and it was a um, really interesting thing uh, to looking at uh, compost through her microscope and uh, identifying all the different organisms the living there. But I don't say more about this because uh, uh, you will uh, have this experience because I think next speaker would be uh, Vitka in this conference uh, as well. Uh, last year we were um, um, we had a good chance to go to field again, not only uh, for doing research but uh, organize uh, bigger conferences um, outside, and we had our usual um, MKS field days now in real field settings. So this was a good occasion to talk about soils, some best for soil technique, basically for cover crops. We have some um, um, cover crop experiments in the beginning phase in Umki. And uh, of course, we had some discussions and, um, and shows uh, some variety tests with which uh, Umki um, is involved in. Uh, now we had uh, another challenge, I think not only for me, but uh, for the other facilitators to organize a community of compost. But I think uh, I were in less trouble if I were known the Farmers Club in Jambok before, because they are a really good example on for community of practice. If you know them, you understand this uh, very well, because uh, they are working uh, that way for a long time. They are uh, um, farmers, uh, mostly organic farmers, uh, living and working uh, near the village Jambok in Hungary. And um, they basically get together uh, regularly, mostly in winter time, because uh, they are less busy on, on field. They are discussing their, um, ex um, th their experiences, uh, their um, problems, um, and they try to help out uh, each other um, with discussions and um, sharing best, best practice that um, proved good uh, in their field. And if they don't find the solution for themselves, the, um, they uh, invite experts um, to talk about um, the issue. And I was uh, lucky to be one of their guests uh, coming with the best for soil um, issue. And um, I thought uh, um, the databases was very useful for them. So we spent um, quite some time uh, looking at uh, and trying out uh, best for soil databases. And of course, we were talking about uh, some other soil stuff as well. We initiated uh, two other community of, uh, of practice. Um, the Compost Alive is uh, um, bringing together uh, people who would like to interested uh, in, in who is interesting in improving the um, compost um, uh, quality and the composting um, techniques. And another one is uh, focused on uh, crop rotation plan planning and uh, the use of uh, best for soil um, databases. So uh, this was uh, the activities uh, we did uh, in order to uh, answer the question on uh, one way, uh, on one hand, why we need the healthy soils, uh, because all of the information coming from Best for Soils says that uh, 
uh, you need them uh, to be able to take care of plants and um, um, produce our food, not only for us and uh, for um, having the possibility to, to um, the next generation uh, live and work uh, in that way. And uh, I would like, uh, and I was uh, very happy to be a member of the Best for Soil uh, family and uh, have this project and, uh, to get to as many people as we can. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Judith. Thank you for the great talk. Um, yeah, I want to welcome everybody to again to um, put your question into the Q&A section. If you look at the right side, there's like the session button. You click on that and then on the right side below that, you see the Q&A. You tip on there and then you type it in and you can also put a, sam a thumb up to rate it that you want to hear it. Yes, um, thank you that, that we had an insight and now I also know why you called like soil person. I just wanted to, to ask you, is it like what you are called at your institution? Everybody calls you, ah, where's the Mrs. Soil person? Or is it, is it your nickname I wanted to ask? <laughs> well, um, in um, uh, uh, focus uh, to soil is, is was a kind of, uh, uh, mm, mm, well, not not new thing, but it's uh, getting more focus uh, in Amki, and uh, I think uh, I was uh, um, the first person who is really much focused on soil and coming uh, and, and thinking as my background is really coming for uh, for soil. Mm. Oh yeah, I see. And the soil science. Yes. So that's what I, I said that I am a um, soil mm -hmm. person for that. Ah, okay, okay, I got it, yes. Um, one question from the chat. Um, Michaela is asking if the activities will go on after the project. Well, I hope so. Um, I I think that um, uh, most of the, the workshops um, and the, the, the recording of the workshop that um, were done in, um, in, in Hungary is uh, available uh, on our on the Umki's uh, YouTube channel, but uh, most of them are in um, in Hungarian, so maybe it's not uh, uh, really good for them. But I can promise that uh, those videos uh, um, will be available for um, for quite a long time. I don't say forever because you can never say that, but uh, unfortunately, I do not have uh, information about. Um, um the uh, project activities uh, in general so maybe uh, um, the project leader can uh, uh, can answer more on that, this, this question because i am really uh, interesting on uh, to hearing some words on that myself mm -hmm. thank you um next question by leandert um is asking do you think advisors can use the decision tools um, on their own Yes, I think uh, um, definitely yes. Uh, what we experienced, um, uh, just uh, to looking at uh, in some Hungarian examples, and uh, that uh, um, the database uh, it, uh, did not handle um, when you uh, use monoculture or growing um, the same crop, uh, crop uh, one after another. I think it's not a good technique, but uh, some farmer um, because of the financial and other economic reason uh, does that. I don't support them to do that. Uh, but uh, you cannot see that uh, after year by year doing that, the problems get more and more severe. So you have to uh, draw to, um, the attention um, for, uh, for your um, clients or farmers that uh, it really have a problem if you do that. And um, uh, some, uh, and I think it would be very nice to continue working with this database because it's a, it's a very good tool. You can uh, use uh, your own. You can, if you have some experiences uh, with past occurrence in um, your region, then you can uh, do some more uh, targeted research on um, what kind of uh, 
um, pathogens or um, nematodes you are interested in. Uh, and uh, and I think it would be a very good uh, thing to to try this more uh, excessively, basically on countries which has uh, uh, different uh, agriculture and uh, natural circumstances like soil, climate and so on, um, uh, to really check and maybe do some minor connections uh, adapted um, uh, to the countries. When in Hungary tried, uh, I don't say that uh, very much excessively, we found uh, some things which uh, uh, indicate um, um, bigger um, danger than our um, uh, plant um, pathologists uh, experienced that, and uh, we found uh, something in opposite. But I think that was very pre preliminary test, so I uh, I wish we could uh, test more or even uh, uh, find uh, an organized format for that in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, the next question would be by Michaela. She is asking, what is the financial aspect of soil fertility? Do farmers have enough money to spend it for soil fertility? Well, uh, um, it's difficult to, uh, uh, to say because uh, uh, some of farmers have a um, uh, very, uh, I say, strict budget, but uh, they have very good opportunities uh, if they uh, use subsidies on a clever way, uh, because uh, some of the techniques um, uh, which are uh, which you're talking about uh, in Best for Soil uh, have uh, um, some subsidy in, in, a, in the Hungarian uh, system as well, and um, you have to uh, use in a clever way and then you can get some um, financial support for that. And the other important thing um, uh, is that uh, to improve your soil, to put some compost in it, it's uh, not, uh, uh, you don't only have to count it as um, input for your next crop, but it would be a long time investment. If uh, for manure and compost, uh, um, there are um, uh, some data um, available in lit literature that it takes um, to decompose it and uh, and provide nutrients, uh, you have much more years um, effect. So not only the, the year of application, that uh, two, three or four, or even more years afterward. So I think it's, uh, it's really an, an investment, not only an input for, um, uh, for one year. And the other benefits um, that uh, um, takes good for your soil to maybe to reduce your uh, your um, pest cost, uh, the cost causing by uh, your pest, uh, it's very difficult to make it accountable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, one question was also like, um, uh, it's a very broad question maybe, uh, by Tamara, she's asking how much organic matter do you have in uh, Hungarian fields? Well, uh, it, uh, it depends. It is the easiest question, I mean, but okay. uh, it depends on the, uh, the soil type uh, in which uh, uh, you can, uh, you have a chance to farm. And uh, in Hungary, we have sandy soils where uh, we have organic matter only in one or two percent, and for two percent, we are very happy with. But uh, we have some good uh, soil chernozem type, if you are familiar a little bit with the soil genesis. Mm, those are soils which formed on um, parent material called loss, and these are the most fertile soils. Uh, there we could um, uh, reach about um, uh, four um, percent of organic matter, maybe more. But the problem is um, in Hungary that much uh, of these soils getting degraded because of uh, intensive um, um, tillage, and um, uh, and the organic matter um, can be less and less. But not only um, the percentage of organic matter is important, but the stability and the form uh, of organic matter as well. And uh, I think the soil structure is a, a very important issue because if you have a degraded uh, structure, then, mm, then uh, the um, properties of soil and how the soil can uh, maintain uh, your plants with the nutrients and the water is uh, getting more and more limited. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, 
finally, I want to ask you as well, um, do you have two take home messages for one or two take home messages for our audience? Well, I think the first of it is uh, and maybe to somehow rephrase what I, I put in my presentation that uh, invest to your soil and uh, and uh, take care of, uh, of um, your soil because um, we have uh, quite a lot of knowledge on uh, managing a certain pests, certain type of nutrients. But I think... Uh, um, we, for our health, we, uh, there is uh, much more than uh, we even don't know uh, on uh, what on uh, what we depend on. So a diverse soil life and the healthy soils with a different kind of organic matter, good structure, um, uh, helps you as farmer uh, a lot. So I think. Uh, uh, and really improve your soils. And maybe one thing um, that I didn't talk about, um, but uh, was, uh, but what was, uh, I was really surprised uh, to experience that, that uh, if you just leave your soil or field alone and do nothing, it, um, it doesn't help, or maybe helps, but for a very, very long time, and uh, we farmers don't have uh, enough time. So we really have to do something to improve our soils, to um, to reduce on on uh, the compacted layers, and uh, to improve soil life and organic matter and so on, because we do not have enough time uh, to let uh, nature solve um, this pro uh, problem. For um, because for nature maybe it takes for hundreds of years or something like that, but uh, with using proper um, agro agronomy and techniques, then uh, we could uh, accelerate this process. Definitely. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge, Judith.